so in today's session we would be talking about bidirectional cross filtering in power bi this is also an important question for the interview uh, so let us first try to understand this ther theoretically uh, what is bidirectional cross filtering okay let's just say that we have got two tables this is uh, let's say the product table and let's say this is a sales table now product table will have let's say product a b c d and let's say the sales table will have the transaction transaction 1 2 3 4 5 obviously the transaction would be of the products only okay now when i say bi directional what do you mean by bi bi means two two directional cross filtering right so before we get into bi directional cross filtering we will talk about the normal scenario wherein there is no bi directional cross filtering in that case what will happen this is product we filter product then transaction let's say we filter product a what have what will happen transactions of product a will reflect okay it will get filtered if we if we filter product b transaction from for product b will reflect similarly if we try to filter the transaction then the products will not show products will not get, uh, get filtered based on the transaction because it is not bidirectional right when we have the bidirectional filtering as the name suggest that filtering will happen on both the sides to both the tables if we filter product it will reflect transaction if we filter transactions only the applicable products would get filtered this is the basic meaning of bidirectional cross filtering if you have understood until this point great and if you are not understood it doesn't matter because i will show you a very simple example uh, through which you will be able to easily understand this let's get started with the example now just try and be focused for the next 2 minutes for next 5 minutes and then you will easily understand this concept okay and i guarantee you you that this is the one of the easiest explanation on internet for the bidirectional cross filtering okay so let's get started so until now what i have done is i have imported the data set okay within our data set we have got two tables if you see the table one it has got the this is basically the product table and uh, it has got product id and the other fields and then we have got sales table most importantly it has also got product id but it also has got transaction id and the other other data is there now the moment i import these two tables there would be a auto detected relationship between these two tables based on what based on the product id column if you see product id column is present in both the tables based on which power bi was able to identify that yes there exists a relationship and which has been auto detected so which we can see here okay this has been auto identified if it is not identified obviously you can manually create it not a big problem now we will actually get started with the example how do we understand this let's do one thing we will quickly create two tables okay i'll this is table 1 and this is table 2 so i'll create one more table this is table 2 okay now what i will do i will try in the first table what i will do i will try to add the um, product name so i will import this product name as we can see it is reflecting only the product name on the second table what i will try to do is i will add the transaction id so i'll go to sales table and select the transaction id but it is not showing me the list of all the transactions and i'll tell you why because if you click on this icon and if you see the aggregation it is reflecting count that's why we are getting the count but we do not want the count so i will click on do not summarize so that i get the list of all the transactions i hope you are until i hope you are clear at this point now what i will do i will just make this a slightly bigger so that it would be easily visible to you guys just give me a minute okay now i have done the filtering to this one so i will apply the same filtering to this table as well okay now this looks better so that now at least it is visible to us okay now what i will do i have got these two tables okay so currently i have not done any setting for bidirectional filtering okay so now let's say if i filter 
product A, it is reflecting me only three transaction one four seven. This is based on the data that we have. It is reflecting just the three transaction that is one four seven because product A has done the transaction for these three transaction IDs. Uh, just in case you don't believe me, I will show you product A. Okay, so I will quickly show you. If you have a look at this data, product A means product ID one zero one. Okay, now let's just see the transaction for one zero one. Transaction for one zero one belongs to one four seven. So one four seven. Now see this one four seven. Now I hope you believe me that based on the product transaction IDs are getting filtered. Okay, I'll do this. I'll try the same thing for other products as well. See for product B, I am getting these two transaction, and likewise for the other products as well. So this is okay for product G. There is nothing, so it is coming blank. So I am okay until this point. Now, what I will do? I will try to see if the bi-directional filtering is working or not. How do I check that? I will simply click on the transaction ID, and we'll see if there is any filtering happening on the product table. So I'll click on one. No change, no change, no change, no change, no change. So basically, bi-directional filtering is not happening, and that's why when I when I click on any of the values, nothing is happening. Why? Because there is no bi-directional filtering. Now, what we will do? We will apply the bi-directional filtering, and then we will see if the effect is taking place. Okay. So I'll go to this data view. Sorry, I'll go to. So I'll go to the model view, and then. All I need to do is click on this table and go to the properties. So here, currently, as we can see, there is a cross filter direction is single, okay. And even if we have a look at this direction, it is just single direction, okay. We can see that it is moving, you know, reflecting towards the right hand side. Uh, what I will do, I, I will make this as both. So cross filter direction I have selected as both, and then I click OK. The moment I do that. as you can see the arrow is reflecting in both the directions now i will try what i was trying to do so let me just first remove any filter okay now if you see i am filtering a it is reflecting 147 okay b so this this was already happening what i will do i will try to filter on this table transaction id table and see if any values from the first table that is product table are reflecting or not let me try Okay, the moment I try with transaction one, product A is reflecting, and likewise, I am getting the values okay for the respective transactions successfully. What that means is, after I have applied the bi-directional cross filtering, the filtering is happening from both the tables, table one as well as table two. That's how cross filtering works. Okay, but there is a word of caution. Whenever you want to use bi-directional cross filtering, be a little careful because or this may lead to performance issues within your reports okay and the second thing is that it may create unnecessary complications so we just have to be a little careful while using bi directional cross filtering and be a little alert okay only if it is required then only we should apply it okay i hope this was helpful and one last thing uh, so before we finish the session just one last thing that don't be somebody who thinks that because just because i have seen the video i have learned something don't be somebody you know who thinks like that don't rather i am sharing the data set you please practice it only if you practice then only you will learn okay thank you so much for watching